This video is brought to you by Audible. Go to audible.com slash domics or click on the link in the description to get your free audiobook and a 30-day trial. Whoa, hey, I'm not alone in this video. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves, huh? Hi, I'm Elboy, uh, animator, sometimes helps out Dom with his videos. I'm Jom, sometimes known as Dom without the D. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cut, cut, cut it! it. <laughs> How can we cut it if you don't have it? Oh, oh my. Next we have uh, Krish. See, everyone's gonna take that seriously and no one's gonna call me Krish. <laughs> so we, we have a lot of hypotheticals. Uh, talk about a lot of stuff. What's what's an example of what we've talked what about before? What if the air <laughs> was wood? Okay, that's like... <laughs> That was the That's... original hypothetical oh that my I first God. I don't even know where that came from. First one was, what if all the air in the world, as in, like, the planet Earth, was just replaced with wood? So in this hypothetical, do we now as humans breathe in wood? Is that what we need to survive? Or well, are you breathing? Because don't you just die instantly? So everyone just, like, either get, like, s squished by something or just die because they wouldn't have oxygen. But would anyone be conscious to understand what, what just happened? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Oh, okay, wait. So, what was the end? What was the end of the conversation? There is no solution to this. These, these hypotheticals, there's no solution. We're just it's just Spoiler, a thing to, to the discuss. Just, that's the beauty, man. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just there's right and wrong reasoning, I guess. Okay, so here's the question for for this episode. <clears throat> okay, at what point do you become a cyborg? Let's say, for example, I I I have a uh, an item. I'm gonna say a weapon, a gun. Okay, and I held it in my hand, and now I just don't let go for the rest of my life. Am I a cyborg? <laughs> okay, should we define what? Yeah, I think you need to define cyborg first. Yeah, yeah, help me define cyborg. The Google definition is a fictional or hypothetical person, hypothetical person <laughs> whose phys <laughs> whose physical abilities are extended beyond normal human limitations by mechanical elements built into the body. Okay, so in the television broadcast that I saw, okay, so they, they basically claim like even something as simple as a contact you wear for your eyes counts as becoming a cyborg. Okay, let's say let's say I, I hold the gun and I tape my hand so that I can't open it and release it. I'm thinking like uh like you know the exoskeletons people wear. Oh, like when someone like breaks their shin and then you gotta like surgically stick a bar inside or something. So like Jackie Chan is a cyborg. That's not. Oh, does he have that? He's got metal all yeah, throughout his body. Oh, from like all the like every bone he's ever broken. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that would make him stronger. So you're say so you're saying in the case of the hearing aid, it is a cyborg. But in the case of the gun sticking into your hand, that is not a normal thing you can do, so it's not a cyborg? No, I would say that doesn't bring you beyond normal limitation because you lose a function of a whole hand. Yeah, but I saw my other hand. But that's still less than, like, normal humans. You're, like, adding a whole new, like, but feature to your body. I, I'm a weapon! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make you better, Dom! <laughs> I didn't say it's better, it's just, like, enhanced in a in that category, you know? Okay, no. In my opinion, it's when you can do everything normally, but in a situation where you can't do something, you can do something now because you have that implant. Can cyborgs love? Oh my god. This is another video! <laughs> part two! <laughs> Wait, isn't a cyborg still a uh, human, basically? But at what point is it android? <laughs> Time to look at the definition of android. I mean, according to um, uh, Dragon Ball Dragon Z. Ball Z um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's put it in reverse. What? Uh, at what point do you have to take an android and add human elements before it stops being called a cyborg? Wait, when when you take an android and start oh, adding yeah, so human elements? You take an android, right? You have a yep. robotic skeleton, and you so throw like when in... Krillin uh, wished Android eighteen to be human. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude! Spoiler! <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> oh god! Two thousand two. <laughs> Okay, so you have a robot, and you th slowly throw in human pieces, like a brain, a liver, lungs, skin, whatever. At what point does that stop becoming a cyborg? And I think that's when we would get our definition for at what point does something become. So so the spectrum is android, uh, cyborg, human. Yeah, like how many human bits do you have to throw in before it's not considered a cyborg anymore? Uh, I'm gonna say brain. Brain, yeah, I think that's the only so, one that really So matters. you're saying if it's a fully robotic body with a human brain, it's not a cyborg? Okay, if you're working like from the ground up with like organs first, and then the last thing you replace is the brain, then you just made a human! <laughs> that's what I'm saying! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's human! Okay. So, 
like what ratio of cyborg and human bits does it have to be before it's not a cyborg anymore? Little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, I'll say all of it. So then by that definition, the moment we put anything mechanical into a human being is when they're a cyborg. Yeah, so yeah. like any that's, yeah. how, I, I, that's how I define cyborg. it. That's what I said. Beginning. That's the first question. Put a gun in my hand. I'm a cyborg. <laughs> it doesn't count with a gun. Okay, I don't think a gun is the best example. Toaster. <laughs> I don't know, give me like an iPod or something. So if someone puts actual cyborg parts onto you that are functional, but you switch it off, you're not a cyborg until you switch it on. No, you're just a cyborg that's turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to draw a line between when something's equipped and when something is built into you something. Say equipped? Equipped. <laughs> equipped. That's, that's <laughs> that double past tense, dude. He's in like the fourth dimension. <laughs> At what point can you permanently equip something that makes it built in? Wait, what? You know, I equip when it's permanent. <laughs> yeah, so n- n- permanent equipping I- equals built in. But then, if it's not permanent, it's not built in. Yeah, so so if I never let go of the gun, I shower with it, I sleep with oh it. Oh my god! Don't... You know, I, I eat my brunch with it. <laughs> and it's it's permanent. It's built in because you can build a thing with tape, right? Then it's built. <laughs> But it's not mechanical. The gun is mechanical. I meant tape is not mechanical. <laughs> yeah, but the way that's my method of attaching it to my body. So it's not an effective way to attach. It's not effective, but, but by definition, it's on me. you are a cyborg. Yes. <laughs> no, no, I'm not agreeing with you. I'm saying that's that what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> At what point does a gun stop being? Oh my god! Like if you oh. took out the internal components of a gun, and it's just the gun shell, is it still a gun? So if I walk by, like, something on the floor, and I'm like, oh, it's a gun. And I look inside, it's like, and it's empty. I'm like, oh, I guess it's not a gun. <laughs> like, do I just say that? <laughs> oh. So a blow dart can be considered shooting bullets. And it's a gun. Yeah. Because the dart is a bullet. It's a type it, of bullet. It has a tube a blow that gun. fires. So if you put, like, a 9mm in a straw, and then you blew, is it a gun? What kind yes. of straw do you have that would allow yeah, you to You got, like, a spitball in your straw. And let's say you don't take that straw out of your mouth. Are you a cyborg? Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop! Stop! in mechanical. <laughs> no. We're too deep. This is not coming full circle. This is I, just I, like almost getting there and then I going. I think we have our answer. And then going Crush said it. <laughs> I'm a cyborg. Well, I don't content. have a gun. I'm going to arrive to Canada with Nerf Blaster in my hand. You can call me a cyborg. <laughs> you're not going to get it to Canada. It'll, it'll be taped in there. It'll get stopped hand. at the border. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, they're they're going to stop me. It's going to be taped all Sir, around Sir, you have to hand. take those off. I'm gonna like, no, it's back permanent. Back. No, I'm a cyborg. Oh, okay. Pass no, through. I'm a cyborg. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sir. I didn't, I didn't realize. Um, I identify as a cyborg. <laughs> Assume my species. <laughs> <laughs> and that wraps up the first episode of Damn Hypotheticals. <laughs> No, Is that what you're calling it? Hy- no. Hypodomicals. I don't know. I don't have a name for them it. Hypotheticals. Them hypos. Them hypos, bro? Hypo- that hypothesis. Today's video is brought to you by Audible, the top provider of premium audiobooks at your disposal. Build your library, listen as you please, the freedom is yours. Use my link, audible.com slash domics, or click the link in the description below to get a free audiobook and a 30-day trial. I feel it's always healthy to laugh, and so I recommend Kevin Hart's I Can't Make This Up to listen to some of his funny life stories and the respective lessons he's learned from them. But if you're looking for other genres, Audible's got them all. Mystery, sci-fi, romance, etc. There's something for all ages. You can listen to your audiobooks through the app, which is available on most devices, so it don't matter whether you're at home or on the go. Finding yourself trapped in your car during rush hour? Audible makes getting more books in your life easy and can help occupy you on your way to and from home. Transform your commute and ride with Audible. Once again, that's audible.com slash domics. 30-day trial, one free book, hours of entertainment. Enjoy!